Hi and welcome. In the previous video, we have covered the installation part of eCockpit version 1.6.1. Now, in this video, we are going to cover the installation guide of eCockpit version 1.11.1, which is the latest version to program the Wagu PLC. Okay, so we will install this eCockpit version 1.11.1. So, here I have downloaded this software and the size of this software is 2.18 GB okay so we will double click on this setup.exe file to start the installation and here we have to choose the language so in which language we want to install our e-cockpit software so for me the preferred language will be English so I'll choose English and then I'll press OK and then you can see welcome to the e-cockpit setup wizard so we will press next here and then we will accept the Wago software license agreement and then we have to confirm that I'm going to use this software exclusively for professional purpose okay so we have to tick this checkbox and then we have to press next after that the installation directory so if you want to change the installation directory then you can change by clicking on browse otherwise you can leave it as it is and then you can press next okay now if you want a desktop shortcut just click on this checkbox create a desktop shortcut if you don't want the desktop shortcut, uncheck this checkbox and click on install. But I want a desktop shortcut, so I'll check this and then I'll press install. So it will take some half an hour to complete the installation. So you have to wait half an hour and then after you can see the e-cockpit icon on our desktop. So we can finalize that our installation is done. So we have to wait here. So we will continue after the installation process is completed. Okay, so as you can see here, our e-cockpit installation has been completed. Now you can see this checkbox. If you want to run the e-cockpit after the installation, then you have to tick this checkbox. But in my case, I don't want to run the e-cockpit for now. So I'll uncheck this and then I'll press on finish. 
Now we can go to start menu and you can see here eCockpit is installed successfully and you can scroll down and you can find a folder called Vago software inside the Vago software folder you can find the eCockpit okay so it means that our eCockpit software is installed successfully okay so we will meet you in the next video with the next installation guide till then take care goodbye and thank you